out. Drive-in movie theater on the outside of Detroit. See what type of movies they got for the drive-in. Book of L.I. Legion Shutter Island up in the air. Look, this is the um, thing where it goes against. And there's the movie. You can see a little bit. Check this out. Look at this. Look at that. You can see what movie it is. This is a driving movie theater. Starting credits. Isn't that nice? We're actually at right in front of the theater number four. Hardly any one up here. Here's another one back here. You might as well check this thing during the daytime. There's one all the way in the back there. I'm not sure if you can actually see that. They say this is the largest movie theater drive-in in the world. In the world. Here's Theater 5, and this is all I should see as far situates vehicles. There's 5, 4, here is number 2 back here, and that seems like to be the big one. and adjoined with number three and then it looks like there's some four twos something back there that relates to stored storing people in the playground and there's more all the way in the back isn't it interesting going through here and get to that back one and work way number two that they use is by simplex RCA to connect to this is three and two all the way in the back isn't this interesting Drive in movie theater and then we'll exit to the back here. Number two or number three. And then whatever's back here is some type of storage and it has nothing to do with the movie theater. And number three. And then we go from the back and this intersects with This is storage for stuff that's chemical. This is storage for moving. And then right here, this is where everyone exits after watching. And then this is some other storage thing. I think it's a bus. Oh, here it is. It's comprehensive environmental solutions so it's somehow related to to comprehend and then it, it says no trespass six seven eight nine
This is 6789. And this is on the other of that comprehensive environmental solutions. But this is vehicle transport. See, there's the other ones over on the other side. Number nine, number eight. Man, it must have been wet out here. Number seven, and these, oh, number seven, women, restroom, oh, that was freaking wet. Number seven, that's where you get your stuff to eat, Simpsons video game. Number six. Oh, shit. That's it. And this is the end of now. Oh, yeah, I need to eat things. Updated. It looks like it's the same from a movie theater. since a long time ago, man. And then this is a automotive processing called the Allied Automobile Group. 6301 Wyoming. Welcome home, or welcome something home of the... Uh, 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 uh. This could be over in Iraq. This could be over in Iraq. Alakba! IMS also works effectively in confined urban areas. IMS can control multiple spiders to achieve anti-personnel objectives. The spider has positions for six anti-personnel grenades. Trip lines signal the operator when an intruder is within a grenade's lethal area. An adapter enables the operator to control other devices, such as the non-lethal modular crowd control munition. Or the M18 Claymore. Textron's IMS and spiders are used to cover two parallel streets. To engage personnel, the operator has the option to use a non-lethal or a spider grenade or a claymore. Here, the Textron IMS successfully engages an enemy vehicle on the other street.